Let us see the next topic. Trends observed in ionization enthalpy of D block elements. Trend means variations can be seen in the ionization energy. Definition, what is ionization energy? The amount of energy required to remove an electron from gaseous, neutral gaseous atom is called ionization energy. So always the third ionization energy is greater than second ionization energy. Second ionization is greater than the first ionization energy because removal of electron from cation is more difficult than the removal of electron from the neutral atoms. Imagine this is neutral atom. M is called metal, neutral atom, neutral gaseous atom. We are going to remove an electron, easily it removed. For example, sodium will take. Sodium, if you take one electron removed, it requires 5 kilo, kilo, kilo joule per mole, 500 kilo joule per mole example. It becomes Na+. Plus. From Na+, plus, if you are removing one more electron, it becomes what happened? Na++. Plus plus. It acquires one more electron is removed means you, the energy will be 5000 kilojoule per mole of am amount of energy is required from the ionized part to remove one electron. So what are 10 times greater? So this is called the cation. The energy the electron is removed from the neutral atom is very easy. But the electron is removed from the cation. This is called cation. Once it becomes a neutral atom, this is neutral atom very easily we can remove it is very less energy but once it is formed as a cation from cation one more electron is removed is very very difficult it takes a more than five times or three times than the first that's what first neutral atom removing one electron is called first ionization energy then once it becomes a cation removing one electron it is second ionization energy so second ionization energy is always greater than the first ionization energy. then from the M plus plus, so one more electron is removed, that becomes M plus plus plus, three plus. So that too, it becomes a higher ionization energy. So that is called I3 ionization energy. Third ionization energy is greater than second ionization energy is greater than first ionization energy. This is always. So in already you studied in the first year, this, based on this, you have many questions in neat exams. So listen, I have written here. So, I mean, it is a gaseous neutral atom. Energy is required. Then it becomes a plus. That is losing one electron and becomes plus. So, it is a first ionization. From first ionization, I mean, once it is a cation is formed, again, it re requires more energy than this. So, that is, it is 500 times means it is a 5,000 times. 5,000 kilocalorie, kilojoule per mole the energy is required. So, to become a 2 plus by losing one electron, that is second energy from plus plus 2 plus ionized required energy to remove one more electron to become plus 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 3 plus that is third ionization energy these are removing the electron from this ionized part this is unipositive this is a bipositive this is neutral molecule so ionization energy is always some positive value the unit should be maybe kilocalorie per mole or it may be a kilojoule per mole so if ionization expressed in electron volts, instead of being kilojoule and kilocalories, if electron volts means they are called as an ionization potential. So in this, I have given the ionization energy values in kilojoule per mole. So don't buy her this for a idea of 3D series, 4D series and 5D series. I have given in a period wise and a group wise. It is group wise gradually decreases and then only in a 4d and series there is a variations here due to the lanthanide contraction and the actinide contraction there is some variations here here there is a decreases in this and here i mean here the ionization one energy is from left to right it does increases from top to bottom it also decreases Ionization energy, electronegativity, and electron affinity, all these in a particular group, it is a decreases, but in a period, it increases. So just to see this in a period, here 631, it is a 909, it is increases. So this is the way of getting the more ionization energy. Low value and here is a high value. From left to right, that ionization energy is all increases. I have written only that the first one, Ionization energy first, ionization energy second, ionization energy three. I mean here I have written ionization energy of only one for a 5D and a 4D. So compare this 
this, this, it is gradually decreases. And it is most probably when you compare to first ionization energy of 656 and first ionization energy 74 and 60 due to the lanthanide contraction and actinide contraction. Then I have given a chart to you that ionization energy is directly proportional to nuclear charge. And ionization energy is inversely proportional to atomic rating. Ionization energy is inversely proportional to screening effect. If the atomic size increases, the ionization energy decreases. If the nuclear charge increases, the ionization energy increases. And I mean, screening effect is very less. Screens means it will have more ionization energy. So in the exam, any other one mark question or two mark question will be asked. Based on this uh, terms, you just remember this rule and then you can apply. Without the uh, by hearting, you can very easily, you can write the answers. Because in uh, CBSE syllabus, so you people are not writing a summarized one. Yes, only the bullet points to be submitted. So ionization energy in top to bottom, in a group, it decreases. In left to right, it is increases. That's what I showed one now. Uh, um, tableau column to you to remember very well. One more question. Ionization energy, i.e. one of 5D series is higher than the 3D series and 4D series due to greater nuclear charge. So 5D series 4F14, 5D1, 6S2. It is a diffused 5, I mean 5D itself, D itself a diffused activity. When we compare to F, it is a more diffused activity than the D because we know that a yes, screening effect is S greater than P greater than D greater than F. So what S is more screens, but uh, S and P are more screening effect. But D and F and all not screens well because they have a diffused character. So here example for a chromium, chromium plus one, chromium two plus. So what a 3D5, 4S1. Here 3D5, removing one electron. After removed one electron, it becomes zero. So the ionization energy for the first ionization energy is 653 kilojoule per mole. Then from second ionization energy, there is zero. So it is a half filled. 3D5 is half filled. It is very, very stable. So it is losing one electron. It becomes 3D4. So from half filled electronic configuration, if you want to remove electron, we should apply more energy. That is 1,592 energy. Double the amount of this. Nearly double the amount. Then once again, you are removing one more electron here. That becomes so easily we can remove. Is it, is it easily to remove electrons? No, it has become a plus one and this becomes a two plus. Nuclear charge is greater. Due to greater nuclear charge, this is very difficult to remove the electron. So again, that the energy is, third ionization energy is triple the amount is increases. So this is the comparison of saying the first ionization, second ionization, second, third ionization energy, how they are becomes, first one is less, second one is more, third one is greater than first and the second. So first ionization and third ionization energy is greater than second. Second ionization energy is greater than first. Now let us consider zinc. So in this zinc, 3D10, 4S, Z, I mean 4S2, losing one electron, it becomes only one. So that ionization energy is 906. Then again, one more electron you are removing, that is double the amount. Then one more, here becomes zero. Then next we should take, remove the electron from the off-field. It is very, very difficult. So third ionization energy is very, very greater than the first and the second. So this is a way of return of 3D. I mean, I have written only for 3D series. These are all 3D series. So now next class, let us see the 4D series and then 5D series. Why 5D series higher than this 3D and 4D? Just I'm explaining this 3D. Let us combining the uh, ionization energy in the next video. Thanks for watching students.